Thank you, Tracy, for a very generous introduction. Good evening. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land where we meet tonight, and the elders, past, present, and emerging. I understand that we'll have a welcome to country soon by Auntie Bon Weldon. We have a very long list of important guests this evening. Um, too long to mention. I would spend, I think, the next uh, couple of hours doing so. But I certainly would like to highlight our keynote speaker tonight, Craig Foster, our client speaker. <laughs> our client speaker, Mohamed Junaid. <laughs> Darcy Byrne, Mayor of Inner West Council. Wendy Moore. Wendy Waller, Mayor of Liverpool uh, Council. <laughs> Professor Sev Obdowski, Chair of Australian Multicultural Council. <laughs> Dorothy uh, Hodinot. <laughs> and Associate Professor Roger Gurr, who is Stats uh, Chair. as well as other stars, board members, many, many friends and followers, and our gold, silver, and bronze sponsors, whose generous contribution made tonight possible. Let's give him a clap, too. <laughs> Dear friends, colleagues, supporters, and distinguished guests, it is such a pleasure to welcome you to our 11th Refugee Ball. I hope those of you that arrived early enough to enjoy the tango extraordinaire got a nice surprise. It was an incredible show. I was mesmerized uh, by it. And also an incredible gift from world-class performers from various parts of Australia, and of course, Buenos Aires and, uh, and other parts of Latin America. Thank you for the wonderful music, the dancing, and the singing. And of course, we have got plenty more of that international musical and artistic talent coming forward. And uh, so you, you certainly will not be lacking on quality entertainment tonight. As you know, the Refugee Ball is one of the highlights of the year for us at Starts, an occasion where we get to spend a bit of time in a more relaxed atmosphere with all of you, our supporters, our colleagues, our friends. It is great to see so many of you coming back, to see so many faces um, that come every year, but also to welcome so many of you that are joining us today or tonight for the first time. It is wonderful to see you all. So thank you, thank you for your support. Every one of the editions of the Refugee Ball have been fantastic. And of course, but tonight is particularly fantastic, and not just for the tango. Tonight's keynote speaker is someone who has become synonymous with football in Australia and in many other parts of the world. I don't know about you, but I certainly cannot imagine a World Cup without Craig Foster's incisive, yet always thoughtful commentary, not just on the game, but also on the teams, the players, and often the cultures behind the beautiful world game. And coming from Uruguay originally, I can certainly say that with some level of assurity. <laughs> Recently, however, we have seen Craig in quite a different role, using his profile, context, and considerable influence to fight tooth and nail to have Hakim al Arabi return to Australia, and more importantly, to avoid him being returned to Bahrain, where he could have faced the prospect of being wrongfully imprisoned and possibly tortured and even killed. Craig's intervention made an incredible difference to what quickly became known as the Save Hakim campaign, 
and that contributed enormously to it being taken up by most Australians as their own, from the Prime Minister to just everyone on the street, and also for ensuring that it attracted unprecedented support from sporting associations from around the world. The campaign succeeded in having Hakim, whom we have the honor to have here amongst us tonight as our guest, and in doing so, it demonstrated what can be achieved when we harness the huge power of a sport in the defense of human rights. A sport is, of course, one of the themes we are fundraising for tonight. A multicultural football series is a wonderful activity that involves using sport to assist refugees, not only to improve our health, the fitness, but also to integrate better into Australian society who have joined this wonderful country of ours. And you'll certainly hear more about this program, the futsal program, in the course of the night. The other cause that we are fundraising for tonight is a global campaign to raise funds for torture and trauma services in the developing world, particularly in places where torture is taking place now or has taken place until recently. It is very doubtful that governments in such countries could fund rehabilitation services, to say the least. And in a world where richer countries seem to be increasingly less inclined to invest in such services beyond the borders, it is imperative that we, as civil society, take up that slack. This is crucial to ensure that survivors elsewhere are able to have a life after torture, a life with dignity, with joy, with the chance and the possibility to contribute and be part of a global society. This also means that tonight's effort is not just about money. We need your support in sharing the campaign with others, in becoming personal, digital, and social media champions for it. And hopefully, or rather, I'm sure, tonight we'll have a chance to start this right now while having great fun by making this ball absolutely unforgettable and making sure that everybody knows about it. So we count on your support on that. We have much in store for you to stimulate your taste buds, and I think that's happening right now, your brain, your heart, your souls, and hopefully to also make your body move to the sound of world-class music a bit later on. Have a fantastic night. Thank you.